NVIDIA CEO predicts the death of coding. Jensen Wong says AI won't do the work, so kids don't need to learn programming. So I first saw this a few weeks ago, and I was definitely quite surprised. Jensen is an extremely intelligent man, extremely successful, so I'm definitely inclined to listen to what he has to say. But me being a programmer, I'm pretty confident that programming is not going anywhere. So whenever I see things like this, death of coding, whenever I see that, usually I don't really pay much attention. But when it comes from the NVIDIA CEO, I'm definitely curious to see why does he think that way. Now, obviously, I am biased. I am a programmer. I love programming. This channel is all about programming. In fact, just the other week, I launched my latest course all about learning how to program in C-sharp. It's really awesome. If you want to learn, definitely check it with the link in the description. But on the other hand, the NVIDIA CEO is definitely also biased, in this case, towards AI. Their stock price has massively run up in the past few years thanks to the AI hype. But anyways, let's see exactly why does he think this way? What exactly did he say in this interview? So for some context, the questioner asked about education. So given the massive improvements of AI, what should people learn nowadays? What should they teach their kids? So let's see what he says. I'm going to say something and it, it's, it's going to sound completely opposite um, of what people feel. Uh, you, you, you probably recall uh, over the course of the last 10 years, 15 years, um, almost everybody who sits on a stage like this would tell you it is vital that your children learn computer science. Um, everybody should learn how to program. And in fact, it's almost exactly the opposite. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program. And that the programming language, it's human. Everybody in the world is now a programmer. This is the miracle. So that's what he said in this interview. And I can definitely see what he's trying to say here. Basically, thanks to all of these AIs and with the power of basically taking natural language and converting it into programming code. Based on that, technically, some people don't need to become programmers in order to actually be able to build some programs that can help them do all kinds of things. And that is definitely true. I do think AI will have a very good, very positive impact on the kinds of people who have a lot of knowledge, but don't really know how to transform that knowledge into an actual program that can actually help them do something. So for those people, I do think AI in general will be very helpful. But the other end, which is no one needs to learn how to program, that part I really disagree based on one simple thing. And that simple thing is just exactness. Basically, when you write a program, you want that program to do exactly what you want it to do. And when you're trying to make something exact, English is really not a very good language. There's a lot of nuance and a lot of misunderstandings that come from the fact that the language simply isn't exact enough. And that is really what a programming language is all about. It's about telling the instructions of specifically what exactly you're trying to do. Now, you can't just go into ChatGPT and ask it to build something simple like something like a health system. You can do that, and it will probably give you code that probably does work. But at the same time, it probably won't do exactly what you're trying to do. Since English is limited, the program cannot possibly know exactly what you're trying to implement. It only takes the limited information that you give it based on natural language and turns that into some code. In order to get something that actually works, that actually has what you want to do, assuming you're trying to do anything remotely complex, if so, then you're going to need to keep talking to it, continue asking questions, continue developing more and more code. And at that point, I feel like you are basically doing exactly programming, except you're doing it a very, very inefficient language. It's like, for example, there are all kinds of languages. You've got JavaScript, C-sharp, there's Go, Rust, C++, maybe even assembly. So technically, you can build pretty much anything you want using just assembly. That is possible. You can build anything. You can build a game. You can build websites using just assembly. But if you do it, that is going to be a terrible language because you're going to have to make so many things that are really just going to make you much less efficient than you could be, much less efficient than you could be if you were using a proper language. So can you build all kinds of things using natural language and these super awesome AIs? The answer is probably yes, but you are going to have to talk to the AI so many times in order to get exactly what you want that at the moment I feel that it's really just a very inefficient language. And also specifically what he said on computer science. Sits on a stage like this would tell you it is vital that your children learn computer science. On this one, I would also make a very big distinction between programming, meaning just writing code, and computer science in general. Now for me, the way I see it, programming, or computer science more in general, is really more about problem solving than it is about writing actual code. And I can confidently say that those two are quite very different things. For example, I've been writing code since I was 10 years old, so for over 25 years. I've used maybe a dozen different languages. But at the same time, if you were to give me a completely new language that I had never seen before in my life, I'm pretty sure I could become pretty proficient at that language within about a week, simply based on the fact that even if I didn't know anything about that particular language, that particular syntax for that language, even if I didn't know that, I do still have a ton of knowledge based on general problem solving. So AI might indeed end up replacing super basic programs that pretty much just take code and just write code and do nothing else. But when it comes to learning how to solve problems, I feel that it's still going to be a very valuable skill for a very long time. 
Now, one great example in game development and specifically game design is what is called the door problem. So basically the premise is you are making a game and you want to implement some kind of door in your game. Now in technical terms, that is actually very easy. You can just go into Unity, just make a hinge joint, just have two cubes and very much just like that, you have a door that if you push it, it actually opens. So the technical aspect behind how to make a door nowadays is super simple. This would be the equivalent of just going into ChatGPT and asking it, how do I make a door system, a health system or something like that. And while this technically does work, it definitely does fit the technical definition of what exactly is a door. At the same time, just making a door, just making something that swings around, that is probably not enough for whatever you're trying to build. So when it comes to the door problem, building a door seems like something super simple, but at the same time you have to answer all of these questions. Like for example, are there doors in the game? Can the player open the doors? Can the player open every door? Or are some doors just for decoration? How does the player know the difference between those two types? Are there some doors you can open and some that you can't? Are the doors that you can open filled up with trash in the front? Or do you simply just remove the doorknobs and assume that's correct? Can doors be locked or unlocked? How does the player tell what is locked and what is unlocked? How does the player know how to unlock a door? Do they need a key to hack a console, solve a puzzle, and so on? So as you can see, all kinds of questions that you need to ask yourself in order to actually come to the conclusion of the original question, which is, I want to have a door in my game. These are all the implementation details that, in this case, are more applicable to game design, but the exact same thing is done when it comes to programming. You want to make a health system, what specifically does the health system need to do? If you just need an int value in order to sort the health, then sure, anyone with any knowledge of English can just ask ChatGPT in order to make it, but in most cases you're going to be doing something a lot more complex than that, and at that point you do need some kind of problem solving skill in order to be able to ask the right questions to get the right result, and like I said, at that point I feel that if you're using English, that is really just a very ineffective language, ineffective way of actually achieving your goal of making a health system. So in general, my takeaway on AI is pretty simple. I think the future is going to be programmers plus AI as opposed to AI replacing programmers. I think if you don't know anything, AI is a great tool in order to help you learn. You can basically just ask it questions and get some very good feedback. And on the other hand, since AI is really so smart, you can give it a specific question, a specific very high level, very complex question, and it will probably give you a very good answer that at least helps point you in the right direction. So that's really how I feel about AI and programming in general. My basic feeling is that English is not a good enough language in order to become some kind of programming language. There's way too much nuance, way too many potential for misunderstandings. So I don't think English will replace programming anytime soon. But at the same time, his last point is actually very good. This is a tremendous time for uh, all of you to realize that the technology divide has been closed. The countries, the people that understand how to solve a domain problem in digital biology or in education of young people or in manufacturing or in farming, those people who understand domain expertise now can utilize technology that is readily available to you. You now have a computer that will do what you tell it to do, to help automate your work, to amplify your productivity, to make you more efficient. It is vital that we upskill everyone and the upskilling process, I, I believe, will be delightful, surprising, um, to realize that this computer can perform all these things that you're instructing it to do and doing it so easily. I think this is actually a really great point. Basically, people who have a ton of expertise on some specific fields, but they don't necessarily have any programming expertise, thanks to using natural language, those people should hopefully be able to get some kind of prototype to some kind of idea. They should be able to get that working using English as the basic language in order to build a basic prototype. And that should hopefully lead to validating that idea in order to make sure, okay, on this particular field, this expert knows how to do this thing and this does work, this prototype is functional. And then take that prototype and bring it to some professional software developers who will take that prototype and make an actual product out of it. So in terms of testing ideas for people who have no idea what is programming, I do think that is an extremely valuable, extremely positive thing to come out of all this. So that's what I thought when I saw all of these headlines a few weeks ago. I'm definitely biased towards programming, I love programming, I love writing code, I definitely intend to continue writing code for the rest of my life, but I'm definitely curious to hear what you all think. So as you look at all of these AI tools, what do you think is going to happen in the future?